In this video, I'm going to provide you with a brief overview as far as the two types of PowerPoints, both the desktop and the Office 365 that is contained in the browser. To start off with, we'll start with the desktop here. Friendly reminder, similar to Excel and Word like we have been working, uh, first thing I tell you to do is check in your upper right hand corner here. Make sure that you're signed in to PowerPoint as far as your academic CCAC account. If you are, then you're ready to go as far as creating new content using PowerPoint. Now, at this point, I mean, the home page should look very familiar instead of having like a new blank document or new workbook up here. Now we're talking about presentations with PowerPoint. You also have a couple of different options as far as kind of in PowerPoint uh, guides as far as welcome to PowerPoint, what it can do if you wanted to check those out. Um, one of the funnest things, I guess, about PowerPoint is the idea that you can do all of these different themes and layouts that, you know, kind of doing design elements in PowerPoint. Now, a couple of other things, just friendly reminders. Under the new, you can just make a blank presentation and build from there. However, also remember that you do have uh, the capability that you can look for themes and presentations. Uh, if you prefer. So like if I click on presentations, for example, you can see that I get a lot of different options here of pre-made presentations that are kind of more theme based. So you can kind of see uh, the business tech. I think I saw a healthcare one here that you could build upon as far as your layout is concerned. Lastly, as far as PowerPoint on the desktop is concerned, you do have your options down at the bottom if you need to change anything as far as your layout or your saving options. But let me go ahead here and go back and I'm just going to make a new blank presentation so you can see the interface here. One of the biggest changes as far as the desktop PowerPoint is all the way to the right hand side we got a new pi uh, panel called design ideas under designer. This is a quick way and pretty much it what it does is it will take PowerPoint and anything you're typing in here it will try to change as far as what PowerPoint thinks would be a nice design idea for you. So just to demonstrate this real quick I could say my awesome presentation all about flowers. Click away for a second and here you can see it's suggesting different type of layout ideas. Now you could actually close this out and you can just work with your ribbon across the top. You do have an actual design tab on the ribbon that you could also go in and change the layout in the presentation here. Lastly, just a reminder down at the bottom, you have the option here as far as presenting your slideshow, but also again, that zoom element. Uh, that's a big question I get across the board as far as all of the Microsoft products is, you know, can I zoom in to see it better? Zoom is down at the bottom there. So let's shift gears here a second. Let's go ahead and talk about PowerPoint in the web browser here in Office 365. So you've logged into your Office 365 account and you're ready to start working. Kind of a similar layout here. Notice up at the top you can pre-choose a theme or you can start a blank presentation. Now one other thing that, to point out here is you can also upload content. So for instance here, Maybe you download a PowerPoint presentation. I can click on it. It'll upload. And here you can see I'm now able to come in and start editing directly in my web browser. Like its counterpart here, just so you're aware, you do have the little designer tab. It's a little bit different looking in the web browser here, but it is available. You also have a lot of the same themes that you can click and work on. 
And then lastly here, one other thing I'd like to show you is in Office 365, if I go to OneDrive here, and I want to upload files. For like our first activity in PowerPoint, you have two images you're going to be working with, the bay and the glacier. I can upload these two files so that they're available. And now, if I come back over here, I can choose to insert a picture from OneDrive, and it'll navigate through my OneDrive here. and add my graphic in. Folks that are using the desktop version, it's going to be a little different. You don't have to actually upload anything to OneDrive. You can just go to your downloads folder or wherever you stored. However, this is just a great example overall that you'd see in both versions of PowerPoint, where if you look at that Designer tab, you see how Designer is doing thinking. It's saying, OK, well, maybe this would look nicer. So I click on one of the designer options and it goes through and actually creates the layout for me here. So definitely a really neat addition to PowerPoint. So hopefully this gets uh, folks started here. This is a nice overview. And again, reach out if you have any questions.